What's up guys, thanks for watching. I'm back up here, wanted to share another video with you guys about five foods that I've always incorporated into my diet. If you guys have been tuning in lately, you saw in my last video, I recommended you guys take five foods out of your diet or really make sure and monitor your consumption of these foods. And I wanted to compound off that video into this video to talk about five foods I want you guys to always keep in your diet to make sure that you're you know, getting the nutrients that maybe some of the foods that you might be eating a lot of don't have. Four major dietary fats are saturated fats, monounsaturated fats, polyunsaturated fats, and trans fats. All of these dietary fats contain nine calories per gram. The only really bad one that's associated with weight gain and you know mood disorders, all that, is trans fat. But the other fats, the polyunsaturated, monounsaturated, those are our good fats for us. Those are not to be confused with trans fats. And you'll see that replacing these bad fats with good fats will keep you in control of your weight, will help you manage your mood, will help you fight fatigue. So there's a lot of positives that come out of eating healthy fats. So with all that said, it's time for us to talk about the five foods I want you guys to get into your diet immediately. Hey guys, you ready to let the dogs out? What? Do what? The first food I wanted to talk to you guys about is extra virgin olive oil. Very high in monounsaturated fats, also vitamins E and K, and omega-3 fatty acids. Great to fight inflammation, which is a key part in keeping our body in its best shape on the inside. And inflammation will come from abusing your diet with junk food. Now this is a healthy fat that's very good for us, but don't forget, when you're frying an extra virgin olive oil and you're changing the heat of that oil and the chemical compounds inside, you're compromising the health benefits. So don't think about this as something you're gonna be using to fry foods. I'm talking about putting extra virgin olive oil in your sauces, putting extra virgin olive oil over your salad. The second food that I want you guys to work into your routine is coconut oil. Coconut oil is rich in saturated fats, but don't worry, they're not the saturated fats that are bad for us. These are medium chain triglyceride saturated fats, which are good for our body's system. and contains a long list of health benefits for our body. This includes boosting your immune system, controlling your weight gain. It's good for our teeth. You could oil pull with it. Good for your filtration system, your kidneys and your liver. Helps control with your mood, your skin, your hair. Is that a hair gel? Yeah. Great. I can use no, 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 don't, don't, you don't have to. You don't, you don't. I just ran out. My third food that I want you guys to always keep in your diets, avocados. One avocado contains around 20 different vitamins and minerals that are all beneficial to our health. Avocados are high in monounsaturated fat, and that is a good fat. Potassium, which help with blood pressure. Lutein, which is good for our eyes. These eyes. Do, 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 do. Folate, which is crucial for cell repair. They're also low in sugar, and they're also rich in fiber, which is really good for helping you feel more full and preventing you from overeating. Peel the avocado, peel the avocado. What? Come on. The fourth food I want to share with you guys are nuts and seeds. Nuts and seeds contain healthy fats. They're high in fiber, which we just talked about with avocados. It's a great source of protein because for anybody out there that doesn't eat meat or is a vegetarian or vegan, you know, it's hard to find protein, so it's important to know nuts and seeds are a dense source of that. Ian is a vegetarian. He doesn't eat meat. He don't eat no meat? No, he doesn't eat meat. What do you mean he don't eat no meat? <laughs> oh, that's okay. That's okay. I make lamb. Come. Come. <laughs> And the last food I wanted to talk about in this video for you guys to throw into your routine, wild caught salmon. They're one of the richest sources of healthy fats out of any type of food we could eat. Not farmed salmon. Stay away from no. farmed salmon. If you're eating fish that are farmed, that are swimming in their own poop, that are, you know, have things thrown into that water that they're farmed with that change that fish, change the way they cook, change the way, you know, they're basically sold. But a wild caught salmon is a lot different. It's cleaner. The whole process of getting that salmon to literally your kitchen is is a good clean process and that's what i want to stress to you guys about the food you're eating there's things that happen from the time it's caught until the time that it's in literally in front of you on your plate that are really important for us to know from that food getting to wherever it starts to your kitchen how is it being treated how is it being raised what's happening what is the processing like it's so important of how the food is raised and farmed to our health because what they eat is what goes into that meat and that meat we eat, right? So we're basically eating whatever they eat. Oh my God, what the fuck is going on? It's not really bad to have the foods that you want to eat if you enjoy them, but 
the source of that is the most important thing. Why are you gonna keep going to McDonald's every day, getting that feeling in your stomach after you eat it for that small little fix, for that 10 minute fix where you're gonna ralph down, you know, a, a Big Mac and fries, and then feel like shit afterwards. Yeah. I mean, I'm gonna cross my arms because you know that it's not what you should be eating. It's not a quality source of food. That's a spicy meatball! You wanna work foods and certain things into your diet that are going to promote your health, not take it away from you. So I think it's really vital that healthy fats become a staple in your diet. I stress you guys, figure things out for yourself and make sure that you know what you're doing, you're not just doing it because I'm saying so, but I will tell you guys what works with me and what I know works best for my diet so you can apply it to your lifestyle and tweak it the way you need to based on your height, your measurements, your family history, where you live, what food is made readily available to you. Our body needs certain types of nutrients in order to work the best way. And a lot of the things that have been marketed, we always talk about this on my channel, I feel like I'm going to it in every video, but it's so important you guys realize that marketing isn't the right way to go about your diet. Realize that there's money motives behind that, people wanna make money. And just educate yourself, do the research for yourself to figure out what's the best for your diet, what you're good with. A lot of you out there probably have allergies like myself, so there's certain foods you can't have. And then there's a long laundry list of things that are major factors in what we eat daily. So with that said, I'm gonna get out of here, but click this link right here for any type of future videos you wanna see on this channel if you haven't already. Thankful for every last one of you guys. And for another video, my name is Brett Cap. Thank you guys so much for watching. See you next time.